We're gonna cut the excess of chocolate like that. So start with the white and then the red, and that's perfect. We're gonna put our mold directly into the fridge to set for about an hour. And I'm gonna take the one that I did before, so they spend an hour in our fridge. So now they're perfectly made, so I'm gonna be able to unmold them really easily. So I'm gonna put them directly on my plate like that. There you go, we have a perfect shiny shell. So that's good for the white and then the red. There you go. Now we're gonna take the two shell like this and work directly on our pan to stick them together. We're just gonna melt really slowly our two chocolate shells. I'm gonna fill my chocolate with a little bit of cocoa powder, like that. And we're gonna top it with the other one, just like this, perfect. We're gonna move right here to our chocolate. So I'm just gonna smooth the dark chocolate here, really slowly like that, perfect. And we're gonna remove that and put it next to it on our table. We're gonna take the chocolate bomb and we're gonna roll it. There you go. And once you have rolled the paper all the way around your bowl, you can just take out easily a little paper, carefully. There we go. And now we're gonna move to the little decor that we have here. So I did the same with dark and white chocolate. So we're gonna put a little bit of chocolate right like that. And we're gonna dip the Pokeball directly inside, cover like this and do the little decoration. So we're gonna do the same with the white one and the last one. So we wait a little bit till it's set and then we're gonna put our poke into our army of Pokemon ball. So I'm gonna take my buttercream and I'm gonna draw my clouds on my paper like that. So I have print cloud from internet that's really easy and then you put it under your paper like that so you have something really clean to work with here we go here we go we have the last cloud so now we're going to step into the blue one so it's the same cream that i color in blue and now we're going to put the cream everywhere around our cloud to be sure that it's cream everywhere and of course you're gonna fill the top like this with the cream and you're gonna fill the entire paper just like that we're gonna go all the way to the end and top it in a bit and once you have your blue color we're gonna start Smoothing the blue color directly like this. So we want to have blue cream everywhere at the top of our class. So you go like that, smooth everything. Keep going until you have a really nice layer. Just like that. So now that's perfect. We're gonna just take the paper like this. And we're gonna move into our cake to put the paper around. So we're gonna put the cream like this all around our cake, just like that really carefully like this make sure that it's really smooth all the way around perfect we're gonna move our cake directly on the plate perfect and we're gonna leave it in the fridge until we have a really solid cream so now we're gonna do the final step to have a perfect dessert so we're gonna take out the paper, so obviously your cake is really cold now. Perfect, you have the print of the cloud 
print on it. It's really pretty. Put on the top our beautiful Pokeball like that. So we're gonna put three of them like this. Here we go. And now we have our three stars there. So you can choose the one you like and you can put in the Pokemon you want. So I'm gonna start with Eevee. I'm gonna put my Pokemon bomb inside and instantly you're gonna have your chocolate melting in your cap to have a perfect chocolate bomb. That's awesome. Now you just need to enjoy your really good Pokemon hot chocolate. Mmm, very good.